Hello everyone, my name is Olivier, welcome to my channel. I don't usually do this kind of video in English in particular, this is the first time I spoke in English in a video, uh, but there's something I wanted to share with you and it's related to my channel, so I think that you will have some fun taking a look at it. Uh, by the way, this is my home. This is where I live down in Quebec. I have a lot of fun. And today we're going to see what I made back in 2002. I made a website on GeoCities on Yahoo. And I find it with the Wayback Machine. And I want to share it with you. So I hope you will have a lot of fun. So this is great. Like you see, we go back to 2002. We got something here. Look at that. I used to make that with paints. I wasn't really good. I'm not quite good yet. So, Holy City, the name of the website. And this is how my website looked back in the days. I was a big fan of GRPGs, like using Chrono Triggers. I was a big, big fighting game fan too. I was never quite good though, but uh, I really enjoyed 2D fighting games. You see, there's, there's the last news that I posted on the 13th of July 2002. I uh, just saying that I just added some new ROMs for the Nintendo 64. By the way, all the ROMs that I had were links that I used to steal from other websites. And I remember that I was sometimes contacted by some websites owner because they were pissed off I used their link. But I didn't know that you weren't supposed to do that. I was just a 14 years old kid having some fun. so. I didn't really care for sure. This is why I used to post mostly ROMs. I started emulating back when I had my first computer. So it was a silly run something. Back in Quebec, uh, we were really late with the internet. Around the late 90s, it was starting to be something. So Quebec gave money literally to poor families to buy computers. It was called brancher les familles, of if you want to connect the family in English. My family was choose because we were poor, so uh, we, we had a sufficient around two thousand dollars for a computer. We went to Bureau en gros. A staple, it's called in English. They ripped their off. They sell us a computer for two thousand dollars that worth about one thousand. So it was really a shitty computer. I wasn't able to play late game on that. I wasn't able to play like Max Payne. It's kind of game they really like a lot. But I was able to emulate pretty much every old game that I used to have on old console. So let's see if there's something left on the site. Oh, this is great! We still have access to the whole text. Oh, <laughs> I really, I made a lot of mistakes. I didn't write very well back then. At first, I wanted to make a website like New Rounds where we kill Pokemon, but <laughs> it was more complicated than I thought. <laughs> so I learned the existence of RPG makers and emulation. I was looking for the, somewhere to put my website in Yahoo Camp, Yahoo GeoCities. Oh, yes, and one day my dad bought a program to make a website and I started working on it. Yeah, to make a long story short, I, I had to let the OCTs because it was lacking space, and I was just saying that I wasn't able to put <laughs> the web online. So I worked, I worked on this website like all the summer on this program, and I was never able to put the program online. You know? And then again, I was able to still link from other websites, so I was able to go back to GeoCities because the problem with GeoCities is that I wasn't able to upload ROMs there because there wasn't enough space to put what I wanted. So I just had to steal the link out there. They, they upload the thing and I just steal. So I thought it was okay. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't, no. Okay, so great time. I'm glad that we were able to, to find that. This is great. Okay, let's see something else. Let's see if we can find something else on my website. You see, my partner back then, you see Star Wars, 
Uh, it was a website from one of, of my best friends in school. In fact, he, he was a big Star Wars fan. He wasn't into RPG and gaming at all. He wasn't into Star Wars. And this is uh, another friend that I had. The, she was uh, the girlfriend of I and my brothers, in fact. She was really nice back then. So uh, well, we were great friends. We were great. And you could follow for me in different websites there. So I don't remember what it works or what it do. So let's see what we could see. Oh, can we still see runs that I put there? Okay, it's so growing there. I find out that I was re I had a really bad writing pad then. It, it's really suck. It's really bad French. It's it's awful. It's awful. Even for, for somebody from Quebec, we don't write real in Quebec. So I will translate that because it's quite funny. This is free game, but think about Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo. Sell Majora Max uh, was leaked before the game was released. I don't know. This is what I wrote, so maybe it happened, but I used to say a lot of shit back then. So I said there that there's rules. Uh, you cannot keep a ROM more than 24 hours on your computers. From what I learned, this is not true, okay? <laughs> uh, uh, you cannot sell ROMs. That is true. That is important. If you see website that sell you cartridges of translated game, etc., they're making money on others' ones back like I used to by stealing links. So, si vous vous faites mettre la main au cul à l'ici, à vous ne seront donnés aucune main responsable. <laughs> Look at that. The T6 Sun have a lot of dead link in SNES in particular. Uh, for the moment, uh, I'm working too much. I was a high school student. I started smoking weed back then. I remember I was really into hard rock smoking weed and this kind of shit. So, more and more was going on and I, I started not working on the website at some point. This is why I worked that. At some point I realized that there was a lot of dead link and I would not do anything about it. What you could download back then on my website, you got Game Boy, Nintendo 64, SNES, Game Gear, Mega Drive, Sega Genesis, Game Boy Advance, Neo Geo Pocket, Neo Geo. I don't know why I put Neo Geo that because I was never able to make the audio work back then from what i remember but cps2 i used to play uh, the shit out of cps2 a vampire saviors what my favorite game stalker street is called here but i have a japanese run i don't remember what is him back though i think it's 3d fighting games but i don't remember i don't remember at all okay so we okay we continue right there i don't know what is that Okay, this is where you can download the emulators. This is why I love Ritual. I don't have to skip emulators like this every time. I just have everything at one place. I'm some kind of lazy. I know. Right now I'm using other emulators like for the PlayStation 2. But most of the time I, I can I can have what I want with Retro Hearts anyways. There's so much game. There's like I got like 50,000 games to play. Okay, so let's see what we can. And so you see, Final Fantasy VII was one of my favorite games. Final Fantasy Tactic is still one of my favorite games. Final VII, I think, is a little outdated, but Final Tactics age really well, even if the game is flawed in a lot of categories. It will always be a classic. So let's see what I need about Final Fantasy VII. This was made back in 2002, by the way. Huh? Final Fantasy VII is the RPG that sold the most. This is true, though. Final Fantasy VII allowed Squaresoft and RPGs in Shadow Road to be the top of gaming. Beyond the edge of reality lies a story of ultimate conquest, a story of war and friendship, a story of a love that can never be and a hatred that always was. And now, the most anticipated epic adventure of the year will never come to a theater near you. Final Fantasy VII. Back then, particularly in 2002, RPGs were big, big, big seller. I'm talking classic RPGs, but it wasn't back then. When I started playing RPGs like Final Fantasy III, Chrono Trigger, it was niche. The people who played those games stayed together and were friends together like me outside of my friend. Nobody knew of the shit about Chrono Triggers. Everybody knew about Sonic the Hedgehog. But after Final Fantasy VII, everything changed. I remember a friend that I had at school that's had a big Super Nintendo collection and sold 
everything when Final Fantasy VII came out for to buy PlayStation and only this game. It was that kind of game. This was the best game ever made back then. But yeah, it takes its age. It's age. The game was only five years old and I already were writing. The graphics are not that good, true. <laughs> so why can we see anything? Maybe I can go all over this I can. The rumors, this could be. Maybe maybe I will go back here and make another video someday about that because this section must be really really funny, but I want to cut. So I will go quick on final tactic because yes I think I will make another video about this because a lot of this must have changed. Like I said, this is one of my favorite games and I played at a shit lot of Final Fantasy Tactic. I even done challenge from King Fat like make the whole game with one character. I know the shit out of this game much more than I knew back in 2002. So there must be a lot of things that I'm writing that are not true. I'm really curious about that. What's left though, uh, I used to have tabs on this website. I, I started playing guitars in 2000 when I was 12 years old. So I was really into hard rocks, Let's say Plunging Hendrix, etc. And you can see here, there's a flash section, the last one that I will see today. Back then, I used to make flash videos of things like Torture, Pikachu, etc. It was really, really cheesy and I was not good at all with flash. I sucks. So this sucks and this, this age really poorly. Flash doesn't exist anymore. We cannot see anything from that. This would be all for today. Thank you for watching. And this is what I used to do back in the early 2000s. And this is what I'm doing right now. I'm still doing emulation. So I will continue. I will not stop playing. And thank you for watching. See you soon.